You should never Furthermore, actually the mess with America. Yeah. With a 50 caliber M2 machine gun, so which strong. comes with 500 rounds of ammunition. Hey, hey guys, look, guys. guys. Today we are going to watch 15 reasons you shouldn't mess with the U.S. Army. So just let's get into the video. With a legacy steeped in triumphs and innovations, here are 15 reasons why you shouldn't dare to test the might of the U.S. Army. Oh. 15. M250 caliber machine gun. Just because of one Casting gun. A long shadow over US Army history. The M2 Mod Deuce is still blasting away after nearly a century and countless wars. A testament to its remarkable design. The M250 oh, wow. caliber machine gun is belt fed, recoil operated and air cooled. Air it provides cooled. impressive fire for both offensive and defensive purposes and so is capable cool. of single shot and automatic fire. This is the machine gun that we see in, in every game. In combat surveys, yeah. soldiers rate the M2 among the most effective weapon systems in their small arms arsenal. Wow. 14. Joint Light Tactical Vehicle. Oh. Oh. The what Joint is Light TV is an extremely robust and versatile vehicle, it is offering an improved point of view, responsive suspension systems, increased power, and modern safety features, said Lieutenant Colonel William Brokaw, 90th Missile Security Forces Squadron Commander. With a gross weight of roughly 22,500 pounds, the JLTV provides protection from improvised explosive devices oh, and underbody blasts, so combining the mobility and transportability of a light vehicle with MRAP level protection. It looks dangerous. The vehicle can reach speeds greater than 70 miles per hour. Oh, nice. The vehicle, made by Oshkosh Defense, is built with a system called the TAC-4 Intelligent Independent Suspension System, wow. designed to increase off-road mobility in rigorous terrain. A scenario quite likely in the event of a major war. This is so good! So smooth! 13. MH6 Little Bird. Little Bird. This helicopter? Flown by the elite 160th Special Bird. Operations Aviation Regiment. Nicknamed the Night Stalkers. A special operations force of the US Army. The Little Bird is a small gunship capable of doing big damage. Ooh. Tested and proven in combat, this light attack helicopter is armed with guns. Hellfire missiles and 2.75 inch Hydra 70 rockets, providing armed helicopter support to both ground and air special operations. Wow. The Killer Egg, as it's lovingly called by its deadly. operators, has a small size that makes it extremely agile this and precise. Is so good, they can sit over there. Yeah. Best 12. view. FGM 148 Javelin. Javelin. No one can keep a straight face and ridicule the Javelin missile. Firing just a single round of the javelin makes oh, it evident that it is difficult to miss with it. very different. And it can fly the on its own. The FGM-148 javelin wow. is a man-portable anti-tank system that has been in service with the U.S. Army since 1996 and has been continuously upgraded. Its fire and forget design features automatic infrared guidance, allowing the oh. user to seek cover immediately after launch. The javelin has the distinction of being an any known armor weapon, meaning it can defeat any known armor. Wow, this is such a big advantage. Artillery and mortar. See them. The C-RAM, also called the Centurion Weapon System, is a land-based phalanx weapon. It can fire up to 4,500 rounds per minute, typically using 300 rounds per engagement at a cost of $27 per round, long making the total cost per engagement $8,100. The idea is to blanket an area with large numbers of small projectiles to intercept and destroy incoming artillery, rocket, and mortar fire. Dead. As an area weapon, the Phalanx fires thousands of projectiles in rapid succession to neutralize the threat. The CRAM has proven its effectiveness in combat, intercepting thousands of rockets, artillery, mortars, and drones since 2004. Wow! It remains active in combat operations so today. Cool. Actually, it can kill you in seconds. 10. Striker Armored Fighting Vehicle. The Stryker, first fielded shortly Stop after the turn of the millennium, is an eight-wheeled, all-wheel drive, armored combat vehicle. There are 18 different variants of the Stryker. Some are built primarily to move infantry soldiers in and out of battle, while others are designed to carry weapons like 120mm mortars to provide fire support. Wow. Oh, wow. Other variants carry medium and large caliber weapons for direct fire on enemy troops with 30mm cannons. Oh. It looks so scary! Yeah. The Striker is known for its mobility it's crazy. and speed, allowing it to traverse various terrains and support rapid deployment. 
Its advanced communications and network capabilities enable wow. seamless integration into modern battlefield environments, ensuring that units can coordinate effectively in real time. 9. UH-60 Black, Black Hawk I think we have heard UH about this. This has is been the one US Osama Army's bin Laden one. Utility helicopter Black for the Hawk. past 40 plus years. It serves as a primary transport mm. and utility helicopter, capable of transporting troops, equipment, and supplies in both combat and non-combat scenarios. Today, the Whoa. U.S. military owns and operates more Blackhawks than any other rotorcraft, with more than wow. 2,200 airframes it's in like service. An attack. The Army still considers the Blackhawk to be one of America's most important tools for expanding partner combat capacity and military capabilities. 8. Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle Fight. The Another Bradley tank. is a combat-proven platform that provides outstanding survivability, mobility, and lethality and wow. is an integral part of the U.S. Oh, Army's like Armored this? Brigade Combat Team. So, uh, of the so 2,200 Bradleys oh. involved in Operation Desert Storm, only three were disabled. In fact, more enemy armored vehicles were destroyed by Bradleys than by Abrams tanks. Wow! This is not simply a battle taxi. The Bradley is a sophisticated weapons platform capable of providing tremendous firepower and direct support of the infantry it carries. So, so strong. M777 Howitzer. Oh, wow. In 2005, the Army began fielding the M777, a much smaller, lighter, and more maneuverable towed cannon weapon than its predecessor, resulting in improved mobility without impacting range They're or so accuracy. Different types of guns this 155mm yeah. howitzer provides timely, accurate, and continuous firepower in support of Army infantry forces. With a crew of eight men, it can put out five rounds per minute at distances as great as 25 miles with the right munitions. Fire. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. 6. M109 Howitzer. How when that? field artillery troops go into battle, their mission is to shoot, move, and communicate. The M109 Howitzer helps the U.S. Army accomplish this mission through mobile long-range indirect fire, capable of striking adversaries beyond the horizon. This is so strong! The M109 is equipped with a 39 caliber 155mm M284 cannon and has a firing range of 15 miles using unassisted rounds or 19 miles with assisted rounds. Oh, wow. The vehicle the carries a total so of 39 cool. rounds of ammunition. Additionally, it has the capability to fire Excalibur GPS guided artillery ammunition, which provides a maximum firing range of 25 miles and a high degree of accuracy. Wow. This ability is particularly valuable when engaging enemy artillery positions or other high-value targets. You should never Furthermore, actually the mess M109 with America. Is armed with a 50 caliber M2 machine gun, army so which comes with 500 rounds of ammunition. 5. The AH-64 okay. The AH-64 is a grunt's best friend. Ask any infantry troop, and they will tell Daddy, you that few yeah? things make mm. a soldier Daddy feel look. safer on the ground than knowing an Apache helicopter is circling in the vicinity monitoring the battlefield, and ready to pounce. Wow. Operated by a crew of two, the AH-64 Apache lives and dies by its weapon systems. The attack helicopter packs a heavy loadout, including a 30mm M230 chain cannon, Hydra 70 rockets, AGM-114 Hellfire missiles, and more. Wow. What is great about the AH-64 is its loiter time. The attack helicopter can stay above a target for long durations, providing continuous surveillance and immediate strike capabilities. Oh, so far away! It makes up the bulk of the U.S. Army's attack rotary wing capability. My God. 4. M142 High Mobility Artillery Rocket System. HIMARS. HIMARS. HIMARS stands as a combat-proven mainstay in the Army's fleet of this launchers so and supports one of its top modernization Go to any place priorities, missile attack. long-range yeah. precision fires. Oh. Designed for joint early and forced entry expeditionary operations, HIMARS delivers high-volume destructive, suppressive, and counter-battery fires. Developed Even the in the late shakes. 1990s for the U.S. Army, it is the wheeled version so of the M270 pressure. multiple launch rocket system. HIMARS can carry six 227mm wow. guided artillery rockets, which lock onto targets using GPS or infrared sensors, or one MGM-140 missile. Oh. This versatility gives the system an effective targeting range of 5 to 190 miles. 
three M two seventy multiple launch rocket system this is MRS. Like, yeah. from Star Wars. Is a yeah. legend in the field. The M two seventy is a highly mobile automated missile and rocket artillery system. Oh, oh many missile attacks. missile attacks, massive oh. firepower, and survivability due to its armor America and shoot and scoot capability. The M270 launcher is designed for a streamlined crew to drive to a firing site, stop, conduct fire missions, and quickly depart. An entire 12 GMLRS rocket load can be ripple fired in less than one minute, and it can also launch four precision strike missiles, PRISM, or two ATACMs. Each rocket or missile is automatically Ooh, fired by the fire wow, control the system, speed. which re-aims after each shot. The crew can rapidly reload using two six-pack launch pod containers. The launcher's position determining system enables precise location tracking. Using a stretched Bradley chassis, this combat proven launcher offers MLRS cross country capability comparable oh, wow. to the M1 tank. It can move everywhere. Two, M1, M1 Abrams M1 main Abrams. battle tank. Nothing strikes fear into the hearts of America's enemies quite like the sight of an M1 this Abrams tank strongest. rumbling yeah. in their direction. It is a supremely lethal machine, equipped with a 120 mm smoothbore cannon that can turn a man to mist from up to two miles away. Oh, oh. man into mist. Oh my God. Those lucky or quick enough to escape that particular fate still have the Abrams 50 caliber and M240 machine gun turrets to contend with. The Abrams tank has been so massively upgraded over the years that the 1980s era war machine is now almost an entirely new vehicle. Huh? Interestingly, alongside the weapons and technology related reasons why the Abrams is still so relevant to modern war, wow. there is another clear reason why the tank is not likely to go anywhere anytime so soon. The moving. need for heavy armor. Oh. One, Patriot, Patriot missile. missile. Considered one of the United States best air defense weapons, the Patriot was originally designed as an anti-aircraft system. However, newer variants are capable of engaging ballistic and cruise missiles, loitering munitions, and aircraft. Wow! The Patriot is a guided missile that uses ground-based radar to surveil, track, and engage targets. An incoming missile could be as far away as 50 miles, and the Patriot system's radar can lock onto it. At that distance, 50 miles. the missile would not be visible from the ground, much less identifiable. Once the Patriot missile is launched, it is tracked by the phased array radar set. As the interceptor missile approaches the target, its active seeker will steer it to the target. A Pac-2 Patriot missile will detonate in the vicinity of the threat missile, oh. whereas a Pac-3 will seek to impact the warhead of the threat ballistic missile. Wow. Crazy. I would say US has one of the finest equipments, or I would say the missiles and the tanks everything but it's not about only uh, the the weapons they have i would say it's also the courage and their dedication towards their country actually and you shouldn't mess with the u.s army because it is so strong and india is a very good friend of u.s army and it should be like that only because they are they have so many like i thought 15 reasons would be he would say something but he just showed me 15 different kind of missiles yeah. uh, then guns and mm -hmm. like this and that and those were crazy like there's so many types of tanks so many types of missile launchers and these are just you know they can just destroy any country at any given point yeah. of time so what do you guys think about it do let us know in the comment section below so do like share and subscribe bye, bye.